In this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you how to bring the wire into the side of the um, building. Uh, I see a lot of people make the mistake of bringing the wire directly into the building like this. And what can happen is the water can uh, track the cable and come in causing damage to the ceiling inside. I'll show you a little different technique. We're going to come down about this far, make it look nice. We'll go to the center between the vent. Push the cable into the hole, into the attic. What we're going to do is we're going to add a drip line. A drip line is essentially the same thing, but we're going to put a bracket on this wire and we're going to connect the wire to the uh, wall and we're going to create a drip line and I'll show you what that does. Now when the rain hits the wire it'll drip down to the bottom of this area here and drip down and none of the, wa the water will drip into the attic. When you're finished with this put some small small amount of sealant around this hole and you'll never ever have any problems with water leaking into your attic and you have a very good very reliable installation. Come on in. This bathroom is an interior bathroom. It has no exterior windows, so obviously it's very dark. The client currently has three compact fluorescent lights in the fixture. Um, they said when they uh, first moved in, they had 300 watt light bulbs and the room got quite hot. So they switched over to compact fluorescence. They really don't like to have to lay the lights on all day. Plus, they also don't like the color of the light. As you can see, the client has a single fixture with three 13-watt compact fluorescent lamps. The client has asked us if we can install it in the center of the room. And that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is the solar panel. In this part of the kit, interior light fixture, the mounting bracket. What this box will allow us to do is to make approximately a 4-inch diameter hole in the ceiling, reach up and pull the wire down into the room, and then replace the box up in the place where we just made the hole pull the wire down through here. Gives us a great way to secure the fixture to the ceiling and very professional installation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the center location in the room and mark that. The clients ask for the fixture to be somewhere in the center. Okay, let's go ahead and put the box up there and get that cut out. If there's a stud exactly here where this uh, mark is, we could simply mount the fixture to the stud. To determine whether or not there is a stud, we're simply going to make a hole in the ceiling. This wire is up in at two inches. Place it up in the hole and we'll turn it around. In this case there's nothing in the way so we're good to go. Okay I'm going to use the um, box as my template. The mark I'm going to place on the ceiling is too large. I don't want to cut it that big so I'm going to cut on the inside of this line to compensate for the um, inner diameter of the box. Get the cable down. Okay, we've got the cable inside of the box. It goes through the side right here and this is a uh, functions as a way to hold the cable. Keeping these little claws pointing inwards and then as you tighten these little screws the claws will open up outward and tighten up against the drywall. The box is uh, up there secured nicely. We'll pull the cable down a little bit. And now we'll prepare the ends of the cable to accept the wiring. And we'll hook it up. It comes in many different sizes. This particular size is our 2200, which means it has 2200 lumens. First thing you want to do is you want to remove the protective plastic wrap and then take off the dome. And um, on the inside is a special disc, which holds a special patented uh, lighting system and we'll set that aside. Universal mounting holes, which will allow you to first put the screws in the box and then the fixture simply slides around there and uh, you secure it. Put the lens on and see how it looks. It's beautiful. Now that's pure natural light. We have one fixture with three 13 watt compact fluorescent lamps. If you look down here at the screen, we have a uh, a certified calibrated uh, test meter which is indicating how many foot candles of light and in this particular um, uh, application we have about 40 41 foot candles that's with three 13 watt compact fluorescent lamps 
And as you can see by looking at the monitor, there are approximately 40 to 41 foot candles. Quite an impressive um, display of uh, beautiful natural sunlight. For the last part of this test, you'll see we have one 100 watt incandescent lamp operating. If you look down at the screen, you'll see we have 17.3, 17.4 foot candles. I'll turn on the other 100 watt lamp and you'll see that the uh, light meter goes to 38 or 39 foot candles. The purpose of this test is to show you that as much light as 200 watts of incandescent lights but do so with no electrical consumption and provide pure natural light. If you notice from the beginning of this video, we're in a two-story house, and the room that we've just installed in is on the first floor. Now try doing that with a conventional or tubular skylight. Thanks for watching.